Hello, fifth graders. It's Mr. Page, and today we're going to go over a, a fifth grade science review, uh, kind of wrap up the entire year. What is science? Science is knowledge about or the study of physical and the natural world based on facts learned through testable and repeatable experiments and observations. The scientific method, we talked about this. It starts off with a question, a research question. Why does uh, salt dissolve in water? It might be a question. And you establish a hypothesis, which is a, a, a educated guess. Uh, you conduct experiments on it. You collect your results, document your results, draw conclusions. Was the hypothesis supported? Was the hypothesis not supported? And then you report out your results. Now, at the hypothesis uh, stage where it's supported or not supported based on your experiments, if it is not supported, you can see the green arrows. You've got to go back to the research question. Maybe rephrase your question. Maybe change your hypothesis or review your hypothesis. The three states of matter, solids. Atoms are close together. Only force can change the shape. Liquids. Atoms are spaced. They take the shape of their container. So if you pour liquid into a glass, that liquid's going to take the shape of that glass. Some uh, glasses are uh, cylindrical. Some uh, glasses are, are shaped like a cone. So it would take the shape of the container. Gases, atoms are spaced, very spaced out, far apart, and they fill the space that they are in. So if you uh, release some gas into a room, it will take the shape of that entire room. What is solubility? It's defined as the ability of any substance like sugar or salt to dissolve in a liquid like water. And dissolve means it completely distributes the molecules throughout the liquid and you cannot see any residue of the salt. There is no more solid material in the solution. That's solubility, sometimes referred as soluble. Someone might say, is that sugar soluble in water? And you would test it, stir it up, and it would dissolve. Also, the warmer the liquid that you're dissolving it into, the more of that solute you'd be able to dissolve. What is matter? Anything that has mass and takes up space. So atoms are a matter, molecules, gases, liquids, and solids. The difference between mass and weight. There's a difference between these two, and a lot of folks get this confused. Mass never changes. Weight depends on gravity. So on any other planet other than Earth, your mass is going to be the same on Earth as well as uh, a, a moon like our moon or as well as on Mars. Your mass will be the same. However, your weight will be different because weight is dependent upon gravity. And the gravity on Mars is less than the gravity on Earth. So on Earth, you weigh one amount of pounds, and on Mars, you would weigh less because gravity is less. But your mass has never changed. It's the same on Mars as the mass on Earth. How to measure mass. We learned this year that we used a triple beam balance to measure, accurately measure scientific mass, and that mass was measured in grams, which is something that you learned in the metric measurement in mathematics class. So it would be measured in grams, 
kilograms, usually in science, grams or kilograms. How to measure volume. We measured volume this year using a graduated beaker or a graduated cylinder. And what does graduated mean? Oh, that just means that it measures, it, it marks on the beaker and the cylinder the number of milliliters in that beaker or cylinder. So it's graduated by the number of milliliters. Density and buoyancy. This opposite relationship map we went over this year and on the left, you have density. On the right, you have buoyancy. Anything that has a low density will have a high buoyancy. Low density, like uh, a piece of wood, that has low density. So it's going to have a high buoyancy. It will float on most liquids, especially water. On the other hand, something that has a high density, like a bar, a block of steel, that's going to have low buoyancy. It's not going to be very buoyant. It's going to sink in water. So this relationship is inverse relationship, crisscross, like a bow tie. Very important that you uh, visually memorize this. Density on one side, buoyancy on the other side. If one is high, the other one's low. If one is low, the other one's high. Why does a boat float on water? Because the boat's density is lower than the water's density. Water's density, as you remember, is one approximately very close to one gram per liter. And the buoyancy force is a upward force pushing up. Um, and the gravitational force is a downward force. As you know, if you drop a golf ball from a building, that golf ball is going to go down. How do you find density? There's a formula, a mathematical formula. It is uh, a division formula, a fraction. Okay, remember all fractions are division. So density is mass divided by volume. You need to measure the mass. You use a triple beam balance. Measure separately, measure the volume using a graduated beaker or graduated cylinder, and then you divide the two. So density is simply the mass divided by the volume. Physical properties. These are properties that you would use to describe uh, some matter. What is its mass? The relative density. Magnetic uh, property. Is it soluble? What's the color? What's the texture? What state of matter is it? Conductivity. Smell, these are all physical properties. What is a scale? Now here's a picture of a scale. You've seen these before. It's got two pans on it. You place one object on one side, another object on the other side. The heavier one with the greatest mass will drop lower. And so this is what a scale does. Now, here's the difference between a scale and a triple beam balance. A scale will tell you which thing has more mass, but it will not measure the exact mass in terms of grams. For that, you would need a more sophisticated instrument like a triple beam balance, which gives you the exact grams. What is conductivity? It's the ability of a material to transfer energy like heat or electricity, like this metal pan. You see the fire underneath, and there's water inside the pan. That fire heats up the metal, which is very conductive, and it conducts the energy from the fire into the water, which causes evaporation. That is the complete uh, uh, transference of energy from the fire to the pan, to the water, and to the vapor. Changing states of matter. Evaporation will change liquid to gas. Freezing will change liquid or gas to a solid. Melting will change solid to a liquid or a gas. Condensation converts gas to a liquid. 
Well, that's it. Till next time, guys, feel free to watch this video again. Stop it. Take notes if you need. This is all inf information that is very important as a review wrap up for this year. Um, you should know, be familiar with, and actually have learned every slide in this video. Be sure to complete the assignments associated with this lesson. And remember, learn something new every day. Up next, we're going to continue our spiral review of the fifth grade science.